NASA astronaut Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore have safely returned to Earth after spending over nine months in space due to unexpected delays. Their spacecraft, SpaceX's Dragon, successfully splashed down off the coast of Florida at 3.27 a.m., marking the end of a mission that lasted 286 days. Let's now take a look at Captain Williams' distinguished life and career. An Indian-American astronaut and ISS commander, Sunita Lynn Williams was born on 19 September 1965 in Euclid, Ohio. Although the retired U.S. Navy officer considers Needham, Massachusetts to be her hometown. She was born to Indian-American Deepak Pandya, uh, known for his significant contributions to the understanding of cortical brain connectivity. Captain Williams is one of the most experienced spacewalkers with nine spacewalks under her belt, the second most for a woman. Williams has spent a total of 62 hours and six minutes spacewalking, making her the record holder for the most hours spent during spacewalks by a woman and the fourth highest overall. Williams' father, Deepak Pandya, was born in Mesana district of Gujarat, moving to the United States after obtaining his MD from Gujarat University. Her mother, Ur Urusulin Pandya, was a Slovene American. Sunita Williams graduated from the Needham High School in Massachusetts in 1983, following which she completed her Bachelor's of Science degree in Physical Science from the U.S. Naval Academy in 1987. She was then commissioned and ensigned in the U.S. Navy in May 1987, going on to report to the Naval Air Training Command and training at the U.S. Naval Test Pilot School. By the time of her retirement from the Navy in 2017, Williams lodged more than 3,000 flight hours in over 30 different aircraft types. In 1998, while deployed on a Navy assault ship, the USS Saipan, Williams was selected by NASA for the astronaut program, beginning her astronaut candidate training at the Johnson Space Center in August of the same year. Captain Williams' first Mission was on 9th December 2006 when she was launched to the International Space Station aboard the Space Shuttle Discovery to join the Expedition 14 crew. By 2007, Sunita had logged 29 hours and 17 minutes in four spacewalks, eclipsing the then record for the most spacewalk time by a woman back then. In a milestone feat, Sunita Williams ran the first marathon by any person in space on 16th of April 2007, registering the Boston Marathon and completing the distance in 4 hours and 24 minutes. She participated in the marathon again in 2008. Becoming the commander of the International Space Station on 17 September 2012, Sunita Williams was only the second woman to achieve this feat. Also in September 2012, she became the first person to do a triathlon in space using the International Space Station's own treadmill and stationary bike while doing weightlifting and resistance exercises to approximate swimming in microgravity. A practicing Hindu, Williams has often made an effort to honor her heritage, taking a copy of the Bhagavad Gita to the International Space Station in a first space mission in December 2006. In July 2012, Captain Williams went on to take the symbol of Om and a copy of the Upanishads to the ISS. The World Gujarati Society conferred another honour on Sunita Williams, awarding her the Sardar Patel Vishwa Pratibha Award, making her the first person of Indian descent who was not an Indian citizen to be presented with this award. Government of India, soon after her initial space missions, awarded her with the Padma Bhushan, India's third highest civilian award in 2008. Ever mindful of her roots and heritage, Captain Williams has taken a samosa as well as a carniolan sausage to space in celebration of her Indian and Slovenian heritage. Well, that's a little bit about Sunita Williams, who is now returned back to Earth after a grueling nine months in space.